My ex-roommate in college had a boyfriend that had a snake that was really mean, but whenever it would look at me, it would just be like, whoa, dude, she's really cool. And then it would just look at me, and it wouldn't try to kill me or suck my blood out or anything. And that's really hard for a snake to trust someone that it just met. They're very bitter. Where have you been? I was in the bathroom at the Capitol with the governor. He's been showing signs of wavering on gay marriage. I told him we were watching him. We should get married this weekend before the rally. We could get it on the news. Okay, we're not getting married, Mercedes. Who's Gina? I used to be able to look into Gina's eyes and see everything I ever wanted. If you ever find that with somebody, don't ever let let him walk away. But, uh, I have a really, really, really mixed. thought about what lesbians did in bed before. For the most part, I really enjoyed myself. I didn't really know what to do with my hands. It's kind of like riding a bicycle without hanging onto the handlebar. Oh, all right, all right, all right. Um, I, uh, <laughs> please, um, just, just get dressed and, um, and go home, okay? Uh, please, I am so late for work. Just because you slept with a woman doesn't make you a lesbian. If you, if you have sex with a, a Jewish person, it, it doesn't make you Jewish. You're a Jewish lesbian? What the hell is this? That's a restraining order, which you've just violated. But sleeping with a senator's daughter to get a vote? It's not the Mercedes I know. Cranston? Dad Cranston? Molly Cranston just called Daddy to send the car to pick her up. Son of a bitch. I know what it's like not to matter. I know... I know you don't have any friends, but you have me. For three days. <sighs> Go to your father's birthday party and bring me with you. And I promise you, you are going to matter. Why would I take you with me? To introduce your parents to you. I gave my room to Dad's assistant. You don't have a room here anymore, Molly. No. Senator Cranston. <laughs> Jonas, it's been a while, hasn't it? This is private property, okay? Oh, and it's, it's beautiful, I have to tell you. So, how long have you been struggling with being homesick? Oh, I don't believe that I am struggling with it. Really? Well, that's great. That's, that's uh, very admirable in a way. <laughs> Don't let the delicious meal and our pleasant conversation mislead you. I believe there's a right to political activism, just not when it forces its way into my home. Molly. I'm Molly's girl. Hey. Who's in my class? 